In the last video we learned that methods and functions should always have a return type void or the type of the returned value. This time we learn how the return type of asynchronous functions should look like. The simple solution is, if we don't return a value inside our asynchronous function, then the return type should be future void. And if we return a value inside our asynchronous function, then we should change the return type to the return type of future. So let's look at some asynchronous functions that return a value. If the function returns a value, then you should never have a return type of future. Since if you don't specify the future return type, then simply Dart will choose it for you and it will choose the return type dynamic. Also, you should never have a return type of dynamic for your asynchronous functions. Instead, the only right return type is future and inside of these generics, you put then the return type inside of your function. So in this case, we return a boolean and therefore we also put the return type of boolean inside. The big problem is if we have in our function the return type future without any generics, then if we call this function and return a value, then this is not type safe. So in this case, the return value is of type boolean and therefore we can put it into a boolean type. This would work. However, our compiler will not warn if we try to put it into an integer variable or into another variable. If you run your Dart program, then it will simply crash your application because you cannot put a Boolean value inside of a type of integer, string or other types. And therefore, make sure to never just have a return type of future without any generics. You shouldn't have a return type of future dynamic because this is basically doing the same thing. You see, also we have no compiler warnings and you also should not return a dynamic. Here we also have no compiler warnings. So the only right thing is to return a future with the type of this returned value. And now you see that also our Dart program is complaining if we try to put this Boolean value into an integer type or string type. Also, there are more advantages of having a return type of future with generics. So for example, if we forget to return a value inside of this function, then the compiler will complain because we have not returned a value of type boolean. Also, the compiler will warn you if you try to return a value that has a different type than this return type. On the other hand, if you forget these generics and just return a future, then there are no compiler warnings anymore if you return the wrong type, for example, or if you return no type at all. Therefore, make sure to always have a future return type with generics and inside of the generics you have the type of the returned value. Next, let's look at asynchronous functions that don't return any value. If they don't return any value, then you should have a return type. So here we have no return type, so this is wrong. Also, you should have not a return type of void for asynchronous functions. You should not have a return type of dynamic for asynchronous functions, not of type future. The only right return type is of type future and inside of the generics we have the type void because we have inside of this function no return value. Let's also look at some examples of asynchronous functions that have no return value. And we start with a function that has no return type. If we await this function, you see that the return value can go into a variable, even if we have no return value defined. And this will then crash our application because we try to put no value inside of the string variable. The same problem occurs if we have the return type of dynamic or if we have the return type of future. So if you have the return type of future and like this, your method is not returning any value, then from the outside, like you can see, they can still try to put it into a variable and this will then crash your application at runtime. Let's also replace the return type by the return type of void. As you can see, the compiler is warning us since we have here a return type of void and you cannot await a return type of void function, which means if I remove this keyword await, then you see that he has no warning for this line anymore. And if we have the await keyword inside, then he is warning us. Also, if the return type is void, then you cannot call this then method on your function. So all in all, asynchronous functions have the specialty that we can await them and that we can call this then function. And since the compiler is warning us, it is not a good solution to put here void as a return type. 
So the only right solution is to return a future of white. The compiler warnings are not there anymore, so we can still await our function and we can also call the then method on our function. And we also have the advantage that the compiler takes care that we are not returning any value inside of this function. If we try to return a value, then we get a compiler warning. Let's also look at the case that we have as a return type future with the generics. However, we have not any async on the right side. As you can see, we get a compiler warning since the function body now expects that we return an object of type future. So instead of returning true, you have to wrap it inside of a future and then the compiler warning is going away. So all in all, it is now harder to read this code since we always need to wrap a future around the values that we return from this function. So it is best practice to keep the async keyword. And with this, you can remove the future wrapper around the values that you return from this function. Let's also look at some practical examples to apply what we have learned. For the first function, we have an asynchronous function and it doesn't have any return type, so this is wrong since we have no return value, therefore the return type should be only future void. For the next asynchronous function, we return a string and therefore the return type should only be future of string. The next function returns a string, however, it is wrapped inside of a future object. Therefore, it is always best practice to keep the async keyword. And now you don't need to wrap anymore this future object around the values that you return. This asynchronous function returns a value of true. However, we only have a return type of future, so this is wrong. We also should have the generics specifying which type we return from this function. For the next function, we have no return value. However, since this function is asynchronous, therefore we should not return simply void, we should only return future void. This function is pretty similar, so we also return no value. And since it is an asynchronous function, you should not have a simply a future returned, you should define it as future void. And finally, let's also look at the special case. Here we return two values, we return a string. Therefore, let's define it in our return type that it is of type string. And we also return a null value. Therefore, after the string, make sure to add a question symbol so that you say that we can return a string or some null values.